Eggs have been given a bad reputation, as they're said to raise your cholesterol, your risk of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, prostate, bladder and colon cancer, to name just a few. However, when it comes to cholesterol, eggs and cardiovascular disease, mainstream media is fighting back, saying it's all a myth by citing studies like this one, which supports the claim that the consumption of eggs every day is not associated with increased risk of coronary heart disease. And this study, which also found that the suggestions that eggs might raise cardiovascular risk are unwarranted. But what about the countless studies that have found that eggs do raise your cholesterol? How on earth can we know the truth? Well, as Dr. Michael Greger always instructs, you have to look much closer at the studies to find out the clever tactics being used to downplay the risks of eggs. For example, in this study, the cholesterol intake of the control group, who were not given an egg per day during the study period, was 312 milligrams per day, which is relatively high, as it's been recommended to limit the daily cholesterol intake to no more than 200 milligrams a day, particularly for those dealing with heart disease or diabetes. So with this in mind, the researchers were then able to quote-unquote prove that adding one egg per day to the diet did not significantly raise blood cholesterol levels in this group as their cholesterol intake was already quite high, that adding extra dietary cholesterol from eggs wouldn't make a huge amount of difference. Also, it can be helpful to look at the sponsors of the studies. So now let's hear from Dr. Greger, who has to be one of the best at interpreting and analysing nutrition studies. Before I even read the study, I'm like, okay, if I was an egg researcher and I wanted to prove this, how would I do it, knowing what I know, right? How do I prove that eggs don't raise your cholesterol? Hmm, well, there's this plateau effect where after a certain amount of cholesterol, your kind of cholesterol receptors get all clogged down and saturated such that you need more cholesterol, your body's not going to accept any more, right? You're kind of topped off. All right, so let's have people eat, you know, compare 10 eggs a day to 20 eggs a day. You compare 10 to 100, you're not going to get any more. I mean, but that's how you would design a study. You look at the study, that's how they designed the study. I mean, so let's look at a study which demonstrates the tactic Dr. Greger was talking about. The trick is to saturate subjects with cholesterol from other sources like beef, chicken and or fish and then add eggs to the person's diet. This is because once a person has consumed 400 to 800 milligrams of cholesterol in a day, adding more with an egg causes little rise because your bowel cannot absorb much more cholesterol. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.